Chan is one of the Philippines' most celebrated horror writers. Her stories use folk horror as a jumping off point to examine different facets of what it means to be human and monster. Yvette, let's hear what you've got. Hey, thank you. Hello, everyone. So before I read, just to give you an explanation. So Foster's an American, and he's checking out a mail-order bride website called sikihorbrides.com, which is named after the Philippine province Sikihor, but which he first misunderstands as Sikihor, hence the title of the story. So the name of the website was misleading. That was the first thing Foster realized. The women on the site didn't look like what Foster thought of as whores. Beautiful, all of them, with smooth brown skin and gorgeous eyes framed demurely by a, a curtain of dark lashes and soft, inviting lips. Their headshots, though inexpertly done, looked more like model portfolios than ID pictures. Their full body shots had them in tank tops and mini skirts or hot pants, indulging in domestic duties like cooking and cleaning and doing the laundry. It would have been absolutely ridiculous if the girls weren't so hot. The site was written in substandard but passable English, with the women grouped according to their domestic specialty, cooking, housekeeping, laundry, and so forth. Foster studied their profiles, wondering if he should pick Nora, who loved to clean, or Vilma, who was the top student, who was the top student in her high school English class, or Gloria, who loved the laundry, if only because the statement made him laugh. He was beginning to call the whole thing off, to chalk it up to a silly disconnect in his brain when he happened upon Luli. He didn't know what it was that made her stand out, that drew him to her. Maybe it was the mischievous twinkle in her eyes or the slight upturn of her mouth that made it look like she was neither smiling nor frowning, or her sweet, innocent face that made it look like she needed saving. She was perfect. In her full body picture, she was bending down against an open oven caught in the act of bringing out a Thanksgiving turkey. Foster felt his pants tighten. Her shorts were so tiny he could see the lower part of her ass, while her low-cut tank top showed off her ample cleavage, which despite the downward angle seemed to defy gravity. The turkey she held in her hands was plump and perfectly brown. Foster could almost see the juices bursting from inside it, its stuffing cooked just right, something to truly give thanks for. Luli listed her talents as cooking and singing and her interests as learning new recipes. Before he knew it, Foster was clicking the marry me button under her picture and entering his credit card number into the processing form. She didn't come cheap, but overall he spent less than what he expected, especially on her travel expenses. He was told that his transaction was a success and that he should be expecting his first shipment in three to six weeks or after the papers were processed, whichever came first. Foster did a double take. Did he just get conned into spending three months worth of salary for a blow up doll? Or maybe they were going to ship her stuff first, then have her come by plane later. Or did they treat the women there so much like stuff that they actually referred to them that way? And what did first shipment mean? Was there a second, a third? Did she have so much stuff that they couldn't fit it on a plane? Foster needed to know, but he didn't want to come off like a fool. In the end, he swallowed his pride and asked Donovan about it. That's right, Donovan said when asked about the packages. It's like some miracle of science. That's why the shipping cost is so low. Foster pressed further. I don't want to spoil it for you, Donovan grinned. Only don't fucking freak out. Oh, and just add water. Foster spent half of the next three weeks in anticipation over Luli's arrival and the other half in jealousy of Donovan and his daily lunches. One Monday, it was a giant pastrami sandwich with cob salad and a peach. Tuesday, it was a greasy, heart-stopping sloppy joe with home fries and homemade applesauce. Wednesday, it was a Caesar chicken sub with oversized homemade chocolate chip cookies. By Thursday, Foster had taken to staying longer in the cafeteria so that he wouldn't have to be tortured by the sight of Donovan munching on his appetizing meals made by his appetizing wife. Week one. The first package came early, 19 days after Foster had clicked marry me. 
It was long. It was a long, thin cardboard box labeled fragile. At first, he thought that it was from someone else, like his mother, maybe, or that it had been sent to him by mistake. But it had his name and his home address on it, as well as the sikihorbrides.com logo, a stylized head wearing a veil, but no name or, or address. He opened the package, his hands trembling and in, in anticipation. And then he began to scream. It was a leg, a human leg, a woman's right leg and foot, her toenails clipped short and painted bright red. Foster held it in his hands, not knowing what to do. And then it flexed. Still screaming, he threw it across the room where it hit the edge of his coffee table before falling onto the rug. He backed away, thoughts of murder and going to jail running through his head. He noticed a letter that had fallen out when he opened the package. He remembered Donovan's warning about freaking out, forced himself to stop yelling, and, reach, and to reach, hands still trembling for the letter. His hands were shaking so much he almost tore the envelope in two, almost destroyed the letter inside. Somehow he managed to get it open. It said, Dear Mr. Foster, congratulations on your almost marriage. We at SikiHorbrides.com would like to commend you on your excellent choice of life partner. Luli is a wonderful cook and can easily be taught your favorite dishes. Unfortunately, due to the high cost of travel, we are forced to send her on an installment basis. We assure you that this will not lessen the quality of her work or her health. We wish you all the best on your marital journey. Yours, SikiHorbrides.com. Thank you.